Welcome to Stuff Works Explained. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. Also, watch other videos that you have done. And for the future videos, hit the notification bell so that whenever you upload a new video, you are notified. In today's video, we'll be talking about uh, a city that is upcoming in Kenya, the Konza City. The city is also known as Konza Technopolis or simply Konza. This is a technology hub and a planned city which is located in Kenya. It is an ambitious project which was initiated by the government of Kenya and its aim is to position the country as a regional technology and innovation hub similar to what we have in the uh, United States of America, California states, Silicon Valley. The city or the Konza Technopolis is located approximately 60 kilometers south of Nairobi, which is the capital city of Kenya. The city spans over 5,000 acres of land and straddles three counties. Uh, most, most parts of the land is in Machakos County, we have some in Makweni and also in Kajiado County. Konza Technopolis, as we have seen, is an ambitious project that has put the potential to transform Kenya into a leading center for ICT and other knowledge-based industries. The project is still in its early stages, but has the potential to make significant contribution to Kenyan economy and de uh, development. The main objective of this technopolis are to foster the growth of ICT. It is being developed as a center for ICT and other knowledge-based industries. The city is home to a variety of ICT businesses, including software development, companies, data centers, and uh, telecommunication companies. It is also meant to attract investment where it's being marketed to investors from around the world. And the city offers a number of incentives to investors, including tax breaks, land grants, and access to skilled workforce. It will also create jobs expected to the tune of 100,000 jobs by 2030. And uh, this will come mainly from the ICT sector but there also be jobs in the construction and the hospitality industries, among other sectors. It is also meant to promote research and development, which will be home to a number of uh, research and development institutions. These institutions will ca uh, carry out research on a variety of topics, including ICT, energy, and healthcare. So now having looked at the objectives of this technopolis, what are the, some of the benefits that this Konza technopolis is expected to bring to Kenya and the whole region? Of East Africa. One is economic growth, where Konza City is expected to boost economic growth in Kenya uh, through attraction of investment, creation of jobs, and promotion of uh, research and development. As you have said, uh, 100,000 jobs are expected to be created by 2030, and these jobs will uh, be in a variety of sectors, including ICT, construction, hospitality, and healthcare. There is also skilled development, where Konza Technopolis will provide training and skills development opportunities for Kenyans and this will help create skilled workforce that can meet the needs of the ICT sector and the other knowledge-based industries that will be located in this city. There is also technology transfer where Konza Technopolis will bring new technologies to Kenya and this will help improve the productivity of Kenya business and uh, also make Kenya more competitive uh, in the global economy. There is also innovation where Technopolis will foster innovation in Kenya and this will help create new products and services that can benefit Kenyans and the global economy. Let's now look at the pasta plan of this city. The city is being developed in phases uh, according to the, its ma master plan. And this is divided into five zones where you have the central business district or the CBD, which will be at the heart of Konza Technopolis and uh, will house government offices, businesses and commercial facilities. Then you have the residential zone uh, which will house the city's residents and will be a mix of uh, apartments, townhouses, and single family homes. Then we have the research and development park. This will be done, or this will be the home of research and development institutions, institutions including universities and other organizations which are focused on innovation. Then we have the technology incubation center, and this will provide the support to startups and small businesses in the technology sector. Then we have the green belt, which will be a large area of open space that will provide buffer zone between the city and the surrounding countryside. As a smart city, Konza Technopolis is being developed with a focus on sustainability and environmental protection. The city will be equipped with a number of features that will help 
uh, in reduction of environmental impact and these include sustainable energy where Konza Technopolis will provide a mix of renewable energy sources including solar and wind power. Then we have water conservation where a variety of methods will be used to conserve water including uh, rainwater harvesting and grey water recycling. Then we have waste management where the Technopolis will have a comprehensive waste management system that will reduce, reuse and recycle waste. Then we have the, uh, the aspect of green spaces uh, where the Technopolis will have a large number of green spaces including the parks, gardens and forests and these spaces will provide, uh, I mean will help in uh, improving air quality, reduce noise pollution and also provide habitat uh, for wildlife. With such uh, sustainable infrastructure, uh, Konza Technopolis will uh, have several benefits. One, uh, there will be reduced environmental impact, uh, there will be improved quality of life. Economic benefits also will also be uh, derived out of this. As you have seen, Konza Technopolis is a new city and uh, it faces a number of challenges and some of these pressing uh, challenges include financing where the development of uh, Konza Technopolis uh, requires huge uh, investment. Uh, it has been estimated that it, uh, it's the whole project uh, will cost 14.5 billion dollars and this is f to, to its completion. The Kenyan government has committed 1 billion dollars to the project but the remaining 13.5 billion dollars will need to come from private sector businesses and this has been uh, challenged as far as financing is concerned. Then there is the issue of la land acquisition where the land for Konza Technopolis is owned by different landowners and it has been a challenge to acquire the land that is needed for the project. This has to some extent delayed the development of the city. And then this aspect of infrastructure where the Konza Technopolis is a greenfield development which means that it has been it is being built from scratch. This has made it difficult and expensive to build necessary infrastructure such as roads, water and sewer systems as, as well as power lines. So despite these challenges, they, there has been uh, some significant progress which have been made in the recent year. Uh, first, we have the uh, establishment of Konza Technopolis Development Authority, called TDA, which was established in 2013. Uh, this agency is responsible for the planning, development and management of the Konza Technopolis. Then we have the development of uh, I mean approval of the Konza Technopolis Master Plan, which was done in 2014. This master plan outlines the vision for Konza Technopolis and sets out the goals for this development. Then we have the construction of the Konza Technopolis Phase 1, which started in 2015. Uh, this phase includes the development of CBD, the Research Development Park, and the uh, Technology Incubation Center. Then we have the Konza Technopolis uh, National Data Center, which was commissioned in 2019. This data center is critical infrastructure for the city as it will provide businesses and uh, residents with access to high-speed internet connection. Then we have a number of companies which have expressed interest in investing in this city. We have companies such as Huawei which has invent invested 100 million in this city and, uh, through establishment of a research and development center. We have Microsoft which has invested 50 billion dollars through establishment of cloud computing center in the city. We have IBM, which has invested $25 million uh, through establishment of a research and development center. We have Ericsson. We have Safaricom, which is the largest telecommunication company in Kenya and has invested $25 million uh, in this city where it has established a data center, cloud computing uh, center in this city. We have Google, which has in established uh, an innovation hub worth 10 billion, 10 million dollars. We have Samsung, which has established as a search and development center. We have Intel, Siemens, and also Tech Mahindra, which is an Indian co information technology company that has uh, invested 500 thousand uh, dollars in this through establishment of a research and development. We have a number of roads which have been constructed. Uh, a network of roads has been built to connect the different parts of the city. The construction of these roads began in 2015 and is still continuing. These roads are being built to international standards and will be able to accommodate high volumes of traffic that may be expected even in the future.
then we have water and storage system which have been installed to provide water and sanitation in the city the construction of water and sewerage uh, started in 2016 and is still continuing the system is being designed to meet the needs of the city uh, and its expected population then we have a power grid which has been installed to provide power to the city and this began in 2017 and is still ongoing the grid is being designed to meet the needs of the city and also uh, the expectation that population will rise in this city uh, there is also a telecommunication network which has been installed to provide internet and mobile phone services in the city this started in 2018 and is still ongoing and this network is being designed to meet the needs of the city and also be able to accommodate the increasing demand for data uh, that will come when the city uh, population grows. There is also a waste management system which is being installed to collect and dispose waste from the city and this started in 2019 and uh, it's still ongoing. The system is designed to meet the current needs and also the future needs of the city. Uh, the construction of this city is one work in progress and uh, probably in a few years we expect to see some results. Uh, from the videos which are available, we have seen that there are various infrastructure that have come up and uh, probably in some in, in our earlier time we might see more companies relocating to this region. This city is similar to one which is being built in uh, uh, Egypt, the new Alman city which is located in the Mediterranean coast, approximately 100 kilometers uh, west of Alexandria. This city is being developed as a new capital for the metro governorate and is expected to eventually house a population of 3 million people. So there are other several cities which are being built uh, across Africa. Even here in Kenya, we have some other cities like uh, there was city. In Tanzania, we have new cities which are being developed uh, in, with, through these uh, model Ghana and also other parts of Africa so we'll be looking in our future videos we'll be looking at uh, these cities the progress that has been made and uh, whether these are uh, just ambitious, ambitious projects and whether they will be completed so thank you for watching this video uh, make sure to watch other videos that you have done on similar topic and others and uh, if it's your first time here, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. For the repeat viewers, we thank you for the support that you have accorded this channel. So welcome for more videos in future. Thank you.